Hello, and welcome to this week's countdown. This week, we're taking it old school with a little bit of low tech. That's right. This week is top five board games. Now, I have long spent a rainy afternoon playing board games when I was but a wee tot. And now I still find myself with a certain appreciation for these classic games. As such, I'm going to be telling you five of my favorites. Let's begin with number five, and that would be Clue. Now, Clue is one of those games where you have to figure out who done it. And as someone who reads voraciously, I loved who done it plots and mysteries. So, me, Clue, who done it seems like a simple enough combination. Although it doesn't help that my dad kept beating me mercilessly until I got good scrub. But anyway, that's number five. Uh, let's move on to number four, Scrabble. Again, my bibliophile nature is shining through with this one. Flexing my vocabulary know-how in this particular game was always a treat, especially when my younger siblings tried to join, who were not as well-read as I, and I trounced them. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Scrabble is always going to be one of those games that I have a soft spot for. And uh, let's move on to number three, Sorry. You're going to notice something real quick with these games, and that's the ability to punish your opponents. And in Sorry, you're rewarded for knocking your opponents around and making it home before them. And I had quite much fun with this one. Especially since my younger siblings were somewhat addicted to it and would never leave me alone to play it with them, even though I continually beat them. It was much fun. But uh, with that, let us move on to number two, chess. The classic of classics. The one that pops up into everyone's head when you first say board games. Chess is a classic with a, for a good reason. It's got depth, strategy, it's got interesting looking pieces that I will not call cute for the sake of my masculinity or something like that. I'm not sure if I care. Oh well. Chess is just one of those games that I've always played and still play, both on the board, in physical, and in the online matches. And I also was part of the chess club growing up, so that's something. And I can hear you all say it now, so I'll just say it for you. Nerd! But anyway, with that out of the way, let us move on to number one, Monopoly. Now, Monopoly is a, as much a game of chance as it is about controlling your properties, building them up properly, and uh, yeah. It's just a game that I've spent the most time playing. I enjoy watching others play it, unlike the other games on this list. It's just something about Monopoly that charms me, that I can't really explain. The money management aspect, maybe. The property controlling. The weeps of the women and lamentations of their children as they land on your fully built park place. But whatever the case, I love and will always love Monopoly. And there you have it for this week's Yandan. We have Clue, we have Scrabble, we have Sorry, Chess, and Monopoly. I hope you enjoyed this week's countdown. Tell me down below in the comments to sit, to, to, bleh, comment section what your favorite board game is. And until next time, get off my lawn, you filthy casuals.